Hey guys, Dr. Greg Rose here at TPI. We're here in the 3D Bay and we're gonna talk a little bit about power and height. Now this is something that a lot of people always ask me uh, and this came up a lot in the last couple of years when some of the swing techniques like one plane versus two plane, Jim Hardy came out. A lot of players always ask us, does their arm height matter? In other words, how high they get their hands in the backswing. So if you notice players like Dustin Johnson, arms are really high up in the air where other players might be lower. Now. There is an advantage to arm height. So is there an advantage if I'm just taller? Let's, let's say I have a player that's six foot six versus a player that's five foot six, is there an advantage? Well, the answer is yes to all of these. Arm height matters, and that means if you're taller, it matters. So why is that an advantage? And why do taller people have a potential speed advantage because of this? Here's the deal. A couple things happen with arm height, and I wanna talk about two things. I wanna talk about the amount of distance that the club moves, and I want to talk about something called the moment of inertia. Both of those affect this. So when you're looking at, at speed, I think the first example of why height matters is if you look at the distance the club travels, right? So if I look at the distance that this club is traveling, if I have a very short distance versus a very long distance to get to the ball, there's an advantage with the long distance. And a good friend of ours, Sasha McKenzie, biomechanist, kind of uh, gave me a great analogy that I'd like to share with you. Imagine. Imagine if you're sitting on a rotary stool. There's a little stool here that it can, it can roll. And I said, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna sit you on this stool, and I'm gonna smash you into this console right here. So if this console is like two feet from the wall, I put the stool, and I have two feet to ram you into this console. Think about how much energy I can apply. If you're sitting on a stool here, I can get maybe one or two steps, and I'm gonna slam you into the wall. That's okay, but if I said, you know what, instead of one or two feet from the console, let's go, Let's say I backed up 10 feet from the console, and now I can get this running start where I can run and slam you under the wall. If I have more distance and time to continually apply the force and the acceleration, I think it's gonna hurt a lot more when I slam you under the wall. That's the same thing with the club. The longer this is traveling, I have more time to apply force to create more speed. So distance does matter. So the longer your arc, the longer your distance, the taller you are, the bigger your wingspan, your arm span can be an advantage for speed. That's number one. Number two is moment of inertia. Moment of inertia, and you guys can all try this at home. If you put your feet together and take your arms out and you just rotate side to side and you pay attention to how hard it is to change direction, there is a resistance to changing direction that you'll feel in your feet. That's like a torque. You'll call that moment of inertia. Your, your, uh, how hard it is for you to change direction would be a great example of what moment of inertia means. Now, figure skaters figured this out a long time ago. If I do this, it's hard to, to rotate, change directions. If I do this, it lowers my moment of inertia, and now I can rotate way easier. There's less resistance to change the direction. So this is hard, this is easy. Guess what, this is hard, this is easy. So if you look at players like Dustin Johnson, Bubba Watson, when they get their arms up high, not only do they have more distance they can travel, they actually effectively change their moment of inertia where they can actually rotate their body faster now. So believe it or not, it doesn't matter my body height now, anybody, if you're five feet tall or seven feet tall and get your arms up, that can help your moment of inertia. But the taller athlete is gonna be able to travel farther and create more speed. That's what height has to do with speed in the golf swing.